Hello everybody, I'm back on Hux and I just killed Ganish. Tough fight. He considered blue to me, Shadow Knight. So of course he did harm touch on me. Still got disease cloud on me. And then I looted this Chris knife. Never seen this before. Four damage, 21 delay, magic item. So of course I'm gonna loot it. There's a quartz crystal and head of Ganish Drash. So I assume these are for quest. I'm not really quite positive which quests they are. But I've been having trouble difficulties logging in today. For like an hour I couldn't log in. But I'm going to look up on Wiki, see what these items are for. And we're out in South Carolina's at the moment. It's very dark. See you in a bit. Well, it seems I fell asleep. <laughs> And my character was sitting here on the bridge for hours and hours and hours and never got killed. Going through here. See, I got two messages. Since I didn't respond to them. Oh, uh, well, my character sitting here. I'm just going to say shout out to Zemna. Said, love the vids, keep it up. And then Rick. Rick says, hey man, really enjoyed the vids. Please keep them coming. So, we will do. Thank you for the messages, guys. And I'm going to go back out here and fight. Oh, by the way, I got... So, I looked at the sword. There's nothing real special about it. It's not for a quest. Same with this. Same with that um, quartz thing I got. But the head is part of the monk quest for the red headband. I think I only have the orange headband, if I want to recall correctly, on my other character. So I'll have to check out and see, because maybe I can use that on my um, my monk. So we'll look into that. So we're still out in the Karanas fighting. There's lots of blue things to fight. Oh, it looks like I need to put on my things. So I just want to say, whoa, he caught up fast. Has he got like super run speed? This egret's fast. So I just woke up at 7.40 a.m. I was playing at like, I'd say 9 p.m. or 8 p.m. Between 8 and 9 p.m. So my character's been sitting there for about 11 hours on the bridge. Never died. The game didn't crash or anything. Really cool. I thought when I saw the game, I was like, this got to be frozen. Like the game is froze. Nope. I stood up and I started playing. I probably went through so much of my food. I got muffins and milk. Probably need to buy more soon. So once we gain one more level, we get dual wield, which is awesome. And let's see. I'm 28% of the way in this level now. This is a pretty cool zone to fight in right now. As long as it's daylight. And when it gets dark, it's can't see crap. Wow. Big XP there. So we need to throw on Thistle Code, of course. And then Skin Like Wood. It's real easy to find new things to fight. I don't see anything on the radar at the moment. Alright, let's start looking for new targets. I see a bunch of dark greens and a white. We can go for the full. It's gonna... I'll take a beating. I'll be able to fight it and win, but... Um, I prefer blues over white kills. Just because there's less downtime with blues. Let's head over. It says he's heading to the right. In the meantime... Oh, there's Singer Foxfire. She drops the... Bark shield. Get on another heal. Trying to raise sneaking as well. This is the heal I like to stand upon when I use my track skill so I can look in all directions. Oh, look, there is a full and an egret. Let's go for the full. Heading to the right. There's a rook. Heading to the left. Oh, he's way over there. Eh, yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of them over there. There's a blue one right here. 
A shell to you and a full. Man, it seems like they keep getting further away when I'm running towards them. Alright. Flame lick them. Now, when I'm fighting out here, these things are fast. You have to make sure there's no other horse centaurs sneaking up on you because they will destroy you easily. You can't get away. They'll chase you down. They got spirit of wolf speed. So I like to um, strafe around, you know, kind of look around in all directions as I fight these. It's the best thing to do. Oh, crack tusk. Looks like he was charging me. He is attacking me. What the hell? I'm dead. Which way am I running? Shoot, I'm dead. Northwest. Why is Cracktus after me? <clears throat> I could try to snare the horse guy. Freaking A, man. I'm probably dead. Crack Tusk, as long as he doesn't stun me, the centaur full, I'll make it. Oh God. Can't see, where's the bridge? Where's the bridge? There, straight ahead. Damn. I didn't know Crack Tusk would attack me like that. Ah! Damn it, I'm probably dead here. I'll start slowing down and Two hits. Shoot. I'll make it. I'll make it. Don't stun me, please. Don't stun me. 22% life. Stupid crack tusk. 18% life. Come on. Ooh, thank God I made it. And you can see as I zoned in, I lost both of my buffs. I don't have skin like wood anymore. Or thistle coat. They both dropped as I zoned in. I should have healed up more. I'm gonna stay and fight this thing. Back in North Karanas at the moment. I'm just eating breakfast. Not too difficult. Great XP, we're at 34% through the level. It's taking a lot of heals to get my life back up after that beat down I took. Each of these hills do like maybe 1% of my life back. Think about doing 100 mini hills just to get full life. It's a lot of hills, right? It's like, come on, man. 56. 57% and I'm out of mana. So I'm gonna look for more things. So what I consider doing is like fighting during the daytime on the ranger. Then at nighttime log into my shaman who's in the same zone. But the shaman has serpent sights spell. So you can see better at night. That way I'm not recording in the dark. Just a thought. Still out here fighting in North Karanas. Whoa, see a big one coming. Let's avoid it. Seven gave me Spirit of Wolf. Awesome. So I am now at 43% of the level, almost halfway through it. Looks like it's starting to get dark, which is terrible. I'm not gonna be able to see a thing. Well, I can see, but the recording comes out like garbage. Still tracking. A couple blue things. 
I'm not having any trouble finding things to fight. Now that I got Spirit of Wolf, I can track them and intercept them quickly. Really easy to level out here. I can go immediately to the next blue mob. We'll be at 45%. There we are. And those give decent loot. Let's see, we have a pincer beetle that's blue. Let's go get that. Heading to the left. So I think it's that one over there. Yep. A couple lions. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Remember as a kid, always comparing animals, like which one's the strongest? Which could win in a fight? A tiger or a lion? I always thought tigers would win. They just seem like much more they're solo hunters, I think. Lions fight in larger numbers. But tigers, oh gosh. And then between a bear, what could a bear fight? Bears are pretty large. I don't know what they could fight. A lion. I don't know which one would win in a fight. When I was a kid, I used to always think about that kind of thing. Like, which animal's the scariest and meanest? Okay, Griffin, there's another Griffin that's blue, but I'm not ready for it. I better heal up first. All right, close enough, I have 71% of my health. But I have a very large health pool. Ah! He broke line of sight. There we go. Don't see anything interesting on the thing. There's a hill giant. Make sure that hill giant's not coming up behind me. Don't see him. I'm always looking out for like a named bear or named lion. Like Grimpa or something like that. I haven't seen him. Well, maybe my tracking's not good enough yet. It'll get better. I feel like my music stopped. It did. I don't want another. E. Put another flame lick on him. All right. All right, let's just heal myself now. Forge, sneak, forge, oh good. You can't forge while you're attacking. Oh, you resisted the flame lick? There we go. Let's see, 5% life. Can we take them all the way down with flame lick? Now I'm going to do four. Now down to three, because I think Flame Lick's a level one druid spell. Just throw on a couple heals to myself. Two more heals.
There we go. And he's down to 2%. So I'm kind of getting a good idea of how much damage Flame Lick actually does. See, it wore off. It only took him down from 5% to 1%. And it wore off. So that's equivalent to like, what, 40 hit points? I mean, I guess it's still worth pulling with that, but... It's not, inter it's not even worth interrupting a swing to cast it, I think. I thought it would do a little more damage than that, honestly. There's a player out here, Drachnus. Oh. So I'm still out here fighting stuff. Starting a daylight, finally. Up to 54% through my level. Looks like I'm getting... Kind of low on health at the moment, but we're gonna heal up and rest after this fight. I was trying to do as much as I can while I still have Spirit of Wolf active, and damn, this guy is no joke. Did someone just heal me? Oh. Some guy's just healing me up. Looks like he's also got weak heals. He's a druid. Oh, he's got better heals than me. Wow, I didn't realize how how low I was getting in health. Sweet, you he helped me out. I definitely needed the help. Let's get up here and uh, rest. Give the guy a bow. <clears throat> yeah, because that was getting kind of close. Oh, there's another one coming. And this is high traffic area. Yeah, we need to heal up. Still right here. I'll see you in a sec. All right, I think it's time to go out and find some new targets. Saturday, I'm off. Drinking my HEB Diet Cola. On Netflix, I'm watching their free movie selection with ads. Except for I bought YouTube Premium so I can watch it without ads. It's pretty nice. It's like kind of like Netflix. Great thriller movie if you're into thrillers. There's one called Rust Creek. Very good. I actually bought the movie because my sister came over. I wanted to watch it with her. She's really into those crime kind of shows. And uh, so I bought it. We watched it, part of it, just enough to get her into it. And then I noticed it came on YouTube free movie selection. I'm like, darn, I just bought that movie. Oh, well, at least I have it. But Rust Creek, it's a movie about this girl who, not a girl, a young woman, college student, gets a job offer, got to drive up to an interview. On the way there, she gets lost. The GPS sends her down some back roads because of some road closures. Uh, runs into some bad dudes. And she's in the woods, injured. And running for a life. Many people can complain about some of the stereotypes they have for people in rural areas. I guess you can make that criticism for the movie. I didn't notice that. Okay, so Spirit Wolf is active. We need to throw on Skin Like Wood. And let's start tracking. I'm wasting time here. Highland Lion. Let's fight one of those. Oh, you know, there is a boar beetle, too. Oh, let's do the lion. It's a head to the right. Ah, is that it? Yes, that's it. So we're going to zip over there. We're there. Let's flame lick the lion. We really need to start looking around. Making sure we're not getting snuck upon by any... Oh, there's another one. Look at that. I was almost not careful enough. I would have had to add. So these are blue. They are tough. I bet I could handle two blues, but it would take me down very low in health. I would like to get the other one after this one's gone. Yeah, he's pretty tough. Doing lots of good damage. Most of the hits I do are worth 22 points of damage. Sometimes it's gone up to as high as 26 points of damage, which is really nice. Really nice for my level. 
all those strength buff items have really paid off. As you gain levels, higher levels, the strength seems to play more of an impact. When you're low level, you seem to do more max damage hits. There's less range in your damage range, I guess. I don't know if that's why. Stop. I don't like to waste on a snare for these. It just Their health pool isn't large enough to warrant casting snare just to stop them in the open fields. Just keep hitting them. All right. Medium quality and some lion meat. I'm just not going to bother with the lion meat. There's the other one. We are up to 60% experience at this level. That's a lot. Let's get the... Oh, you resisted. Darn you. This reminds me of another movie. Uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf. It's a French movie. It's about some legend of some kind of wolf that terrorizes the lands landscape in France. Turns out not to be a wolf at all. Some some guy, some nobleman, went on a trip to Africa, picked up a lion, brought it back, had trained it, trained it to go and attack people actually. And it would do so at night, so people would think it's some kind of monstrous wolf. But it was just a lion. It was called Brotherhood of the Wolf. It had some nice fight scenes in it. It didn't do well in the U.S. because, of course, people don't like to read subtitles. I actually sometimes watch movies with subtitles on because... I have issues with the volume in movies. The volume, the dialogue is so quiet and then the action is so loud. So to find a middle ground, I turn the volume down. And then during important dialogue scenes, I can't hear what they're saying. All right, let's go sell some things. Okay, I am back. I ended up dying. <laughs> Damn, I went to go make some food. Now it's gone about 10 seconds, and then the Grim Feather was on me. Came back, turned, and just as I turned, there he was, right in my face. Whatever happens. See how, th see how fast they come? That's not Grim Feather, but that's another, like, Griffin. So I lost a little XP, but, you know. Almost back up to 60% to this level. Man, and it seems like every time I get on the game, it's getting darker. It's dark. Stop getting dark. And there's another Griffin thing. So I'm going to try to fight the Boar Beetle. There's a lot of stuff roaming around, so it's got to be careful. But other than that, I mean, having a good time on the Ranger is pretty easy. Uh, today's flying by so quick. Just bought a brand new iPhone. It'll get delivered on the 14th, so that'll be while I'm working, unfortunately. Let's see, there's a lot of blue things still. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff to work on. It just seems like I need more time off. Not a great work-life balance for me right now. I'm probably going to play a little bit of um, games on my phone. Let's see. Put on some music. Muzak. There we go. All right, Boar Beetle, that was easy. And he did take a lot of hit points from me. And it's getting dark, dang it. It's still on a, these hills, man, I have to take, I have to like heal so many times to get my life back up. Watch this, 51%, 53%, 54%, 
56%. You see how long, how many times you have to heal 58. So it's like, it gives one and a half percent of your health back every time you cast it. So that's a lot of casts. Mm -hmm. All right, grizzlies, penskers. Pinsker beetles. Hmm. I can go for the pincer beetles or the griffin. I want to go for the griffin. So he's straight to the left. Man, he's way over there. See how far I track? Crazy tracking distance. Silver mist looks like he's running somewhere. Got a date. I've got a date, dude. I'm really craving some Burger King today. There's a Burger King. Well... I just learned where it's at and it's about 10 minute drive from where I'm at. So thinking, man, I can go get a Burger King tonight. If I go to Burger King, it needs to be around 6 PM, 7 PM. Don't want to wait too late. Get myself something good, like a Whopper meal. I wouldn't even mind one of those impossible Whoppers. I'm a meat eater, but even one of those sound good. Everything sounds good to me. I'll be right back. I'm going to um, go play some games on my phone and we're going to come back. I don't want to play in the dark, so I'm going to record this in the daytime. So I'll be back. You have to make sure nothing sneaks up on you as you're camping out. 